So I know as a player, you look around the gym and there's so many maybe equally or better talented players. How as a player do you separate yourself from the competition? How do you stand out to a coach? So I, I have this conversation a lot with our with our Mizuno level kids, our top kids, right? Because they'll say, you know what, hey, there's three of us that are being recruited for this spot. You know, what do I do, Coach Amy? Yeah. And I say, when it's apples to apples, you're you're both six two, you both touch ten two, you both play this or you all three play the same position. Right. The way to separate yourself from those other two is generating that relationship. It comes down to personality and that personal relationship with the coach. You want them to get to know you so that they feel confident and build that relationship with you to go, you know what, I'd really be sad if this kid wasn't it's on the, the team. the one thing that edges you over. It, and, it's the, and it's the only thing that you can do, right? When, yep. it's, when it's that, it's... And, it, and the other thing to go with it is, is not only your personality, but your work ethic, mm -hmm. right? Are you a gym rat? Are you a competitor? Are you willing to do all those things? And the only way they're really going to get to know that about you is getting that that time, time. on the phone time. that exactly that that time to get to know you going that effort eff, extra effort to pick up the phone and make weekly phone calls yep. um, I think back um, to the time when I was um, recruiting at Oklahoma and Stacy Sikora was yep. in Burleson High School a legend yep. absolutely and this was back in the day where there wasn't cell phones yep. and <laughs> um, you as a student had to call collect Oh, man. She called me collect every day. And I was devastated when it came down to Oklahoma and Texas A&M yep. to go to school uh. at when she chose A&M because I had generated such a great relationship with her. Yep. And it was hard for her. We were both in tears. You have these personal relationships absolutely. that you invest. And that's what you want to get yeah. with that coach. So don't think that you're bugging them. Don't think that you're... Um, annoying them by reaching out to them all the time because as a coach you want a kid that one wants to be at your school right. has that, that passion. has that passion and says I want to wear that school color I want to be that that um, mascot I yep. want to be able to show those school signals right yep. and then they want to know that you're bought into their philosophy and you want to know what that philosophy is and you want to know that you're going to mesh it with matches. that philosophy yep. and it matches. That's right. Because you don't want to be standing on that sideline going, oh, I had no idea that it was going to be like yep. this. Could've, that you didn't, didn't do your homework. Different. So they're not going to be discouraged. If you're a top three kid, they're not going to feel like, oh, I don't want her to call me. They right. want you to call you. They they want you to call them and they want to get to know you. And they're not going to ask you to do that because they're going to want to see who does it. Yep. So set mm -hmm. yourself apart by being aggressive and passionate, passionate and, and fearless. Yep. Picking up that phone and saying, coach, I scary. want you Yep. I want you to choose me, and this is how we're going to make it yep, happen. Yep, it is scary for a high school kid, but if you just set that si that fear aside and go after it, it That's will right. reward you. That's right. Yes. That's right.